What's up, hey. everyone? It is the final 2020 episode Dang, of this is it. Hoodie Dads. Hoodie Dads. Yeah. The dads you never had. I mean, I don't or know. Or hopefully you did have that. Know. Hopefully you did have it. One of the first promises that we made and we've kept is that if they write in the comments, we're going to make sure we show them some love in the comments. Oh, no. Oh, no. 2020 is sort of weird. Alvita Ray. I mean, is that not the most 2020 sentence ever? Someone said 2020 is like looking both ways across the street and then you get hit by a submarine. Like, <laughs> Low key. Like, coast is clear and then how did I just get hit by a submarine? Like, what? Yes. Sifacilli. Okay. Hoodie dads are the best. That is Corey true. Corey says, we love the hoodie dads. Azaria says, mm -hmm. 2020 continues to surprise me. This is going to be our year in review, year in review episode of hoodie dads. 2020. Such an eventful year. I remember let's start off in January. Everyone was like, it's about to be the best Crazy year ever. Crazy year ever. I'm at dinner on a Sunday afternoon mm -hmm. and my brother FaceTimes me four times in a row. And while I'm FaceTiming him, uncles, cousins, a bunch of people are texting him like, oh no, something bad has happened. And I finally get on FaceTime with my brother and he's actually crying. And it, that's how I found out Kobe Bryant had passed oh. I used to sneak into the basement yeah. to watch the Lakers play when I was supposed to be in bed. Oof. Kobe, I wasn't man. trying to get into any other kind of trouble. I just wanted to watch Kobe. That was a really low, like that was, that was just- Super was low point. Tough. Very tough. Super, super low point. Oh. Kobe! <laughs> he made the shot, by the way, in case you were wondering. What happened in February? February, February hey, this year. Disclaimer, on some month, we might miss some of the bad or good stuff that happened in there. In the comments. Yeah, let us know, let us know. We're not trying, we're just kind of going off the dome here. Uh, what happened February 2020, man? What was the last month before quarantine? Sure. So little did we know. I just what remember was about to hit us. taking advantage of so many things. The 14th anniversary of, of Elevation Church. Bishop TD Jakes. Was bonkers. That is my top one of my top three messages of this year. Which one? Chainbreaker? Chainbreaker. <laughs> it's underrated. I feel like people forget about it. That man said the calling of Elevation Church is no longer to pastor the churches, it's to pastor the cities man. that we're in. This so underrated. Like I feel like it's so, I think that I'm, I'm like, we need to be talking about this more, bro. And then March came. I'm not gonna lie to you, this one was tough. This is when like conversations around coronavirus and the yeah. impact were really beginning to reach our country and trying yeah. to figure that out. Coronavirus is here, Yeah. March 15th, the world stopped. So when we were kids, yes. the thing that we would talk about is where were you on 9-11? Yes. You remember that moment? Yes. And I think for y'all teenagers Absolutely. watching, a moment y'all will look back on. I mean, we will too. Absolutely. But And I think everyone will. But yeah. specifically, as you're a kid, something like sticks different. You're gonna remember where you were when that when school got yep. canceled for a week. Yep. And then it got canceled for a whole month. And it was like, and we'll be back after spring break. And then when your teachers just gave up. <laughs> April yep. was when like the stay at home orders hit. Mm -hmm. And it was like, don't leave the crib. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of us who thought we and that's loved, when Tiger King was being so overhyped. Tiger King was not that good, guys. Are we ready to talk about this as a culture? I only watched one episode and I couldn't get past. It was, I was just like, bro, I'm like, I'm like, let's run. May, May, May comes around. Yep. May was a long year. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. May, May was, was a long, long year. Man. You just had to be in the house and yep. stay at home orders were going strong and yep. the weather was starting to be great. Yeah. And you just had to look outside and imagine how it felt. And because like April and March, like where it was kind of like people were in their house. It was like kind of like cool. for some people yeah. it was kind of cool. Yeah, like for me, I'm I'm some people. Yeah, and I like love we were, it was it was a heavy time. Yeah, but I think we're processing like, well, if I'm gonna be in here, I'm praying for people from home. We're doing what we can. Yep. But at the same time, you kind of you just got to enjoy family. You Absolutely. got to. There was some good to it. Yeah. But by May, it, it was, was like, like I'm done with it. Yeah, uh, I don't know about my family. Yeah. I don't know about. Yeah. This person, like, yeah, yeah. it was definitely tough. And then towards the end of May, yeah. uh, an event took place that I think shocked the the world. Yeah. I remember seeing posts in Africa and Australia yeah. and yeah. India, Asia, where, where people were talking about this event. And it was really um, the moment where many of us on May 25th watched uh, the life of George Floyd be taken away. Yeah. Um, and that sent shockwaves through right. the world, uh, shockwaves through the culture, shockwaves through our church. Yeah. And I just remember that time being so, so heavy. Yeah. But also the responsibility we all felt. Yeah. 
of trying to get an understanding of each other. I think what we learn is there's power in listening, like you said. Yeah. And but in, in order to get better, you got to push through the pain. Yeah. And you got to take some responsibility. Absolutely. So that was May. That was May, man. June. Man, man, man. Did the NBA bubble start in June? R.I.P. Phoenix Suns. Shut up. 2020 said we don't care about your wins. The so. Suns won all eight games. How, like, <laughs> do you know how many sermon illustrations I got out of that? Of like when you've done all you can do mm -hmm. and it still ain't good enough? Bro. They were still half a game. How yeah. do you even win a half a game? Bro? Because of where the conversations were culturally in our church, yep. it definitely was the most interesting Independence Day that I've ever witnessed mm -hmm. in my life. Yep. Right in the middle of July, yep. something spectacular took place at our church, man. Yeah. A 72 hour live stream. Of you think. Dude. That was crazy, bro. I still feel like I'm catching up sleep from that. Can't Here's a question we got and we gotta get answers on. Can you catch up on sleep? Or when sleep is lost. Sorry, cousin. Shout out scam likely. Hello. Hello? Hello, I was trying to reach William Lost Jr. Who is this? This is William. On a personal matter? What's the personal matter? I don't know who I'm speaking to. Neither do I. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> what the? You're trying to get your social, bro. Youth X happened in, in July. August hits. Oh, I can't remember August right now. Man, August. Can you came remember through. August? Did August? Can we get confirmation in the comments? Did, Did August, August happen? happen? I can't. I look legit. May felt like a year, so I like. This is when a lot of you were figuring out: Am I going back to school? Mm -hmm. Am I going to stay on Zoom? Yeah. You see on TikTok. Yeah. TikTok went crazy this year, by the way, 2020. Mm -hmm. And what happened in September? That election we knew, we felt the election and coming. Election, COVID, commercials. COVID was starting to get worse. To, we were like, Wait. COVID was somehow getting worse this whole time and we didn't know until September. I think that, that was the thing about September. Is that was the moment we realized. Like, we haven't made any progress. We haven't made any yeah. progress. The month yeah, of October we were right up there. was just like... I started like, growing my beard in October. Which was crazy. It was a great beard. I'm, I wish I had Whenever I have that beard, it means I'm depressed. Not like clinically. I'm just sad. You remember those zits you had as a teenager sure. where you would you would try to pop them, but it but it ended up looking like you tried to cut it off with a knife? So October was just bad. October was rough. November. The Lakers did win the, the championship in October. Yawn. Shout out. Yawn. Shout out to the Los Angeles Lakers. <sighs> Then November took place and the election was officially over. Thank the Lord, those commercials were off the air. And I do think for as much as I'm proud of Gen Z, yeah. I'm proud of people my age, I'm proud that I feel like I like holistically that we, are, we care about the laws yes. and rules that are passed. And then December came, the Christmas stuff hit right the now? shelves. Yeah. And here we are celebrating Christmas, just like we weren't fighting on Facebook two months ago. Dang, bro. Crazy year, man. Dang. Put in your predictions for 21. Um, hopefully some fun things will happen. Are the Lakers winning again? Is that, are we Lakers are winning uh, again. Uh, Fortnite will somehow continue to make a massive amount of money. Shout out um, to Among Us though. We forgot to talk about 2020 Among Us. Um, the year of Among Us, bro. Fantastic game. Hey, we were murdering each other in the comments. We might as well murder each other on a game and then yell at each other about murdering each other. So, Sus. 2020 in review. What a, what a year. But we've been here to navigate it for you. And Could why you would do you it? send a boy? To do a man's job. Love y'all. Hey kids, it's me, your hoodie dad. Hey, what's going on guys? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. On your old YouTube channel. So you can get more content. Like this. Come on. Come on. Ding, 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 ding.